We were visiting family over the summer, and I didn't bring my guitar with me, which is a first. My wife's aunt said, I have a guitar you could borrow for the bonfire, which seemed a little weird because she doesn't play the guitar. She tells me this guitar has been sitting in her attic above the garage in northern Minnesota for 40 years, which if you're not familiar with our climate here in the summer, it's like 100 degrees with about 90% humidity. And in the winter, it's, I am not kidding, 30 below, sometimes colder. So a little bit of fluctuation in wood. I figured this thing was gonna be in pieces. It was in surprisingly good shape for being stored in those conditions for four decades. So I told her I could clean it up, fix it, and that's what I'm gonna do in this video. We've got 40 year old strings and it's missing one. But let's see how the tone is. Surprisingly, not that bad. I noticed the action seems really high, so I thought the neck might be warped. Uh, not quite. The neck was starting to separate from the body it doesn't appear to have a truss rod in it, so this should be an easy enough fix. So we're looking at fixing the neck, new pick guard screws, a good cleaning, and new strings. First, I'm gonna remove the old strings. Now I'm gonna clean up the area around the neck joint. Then I'm going to add some wood glue and use a clamp. This one gives 300 pounds of pressure. Probably don't need that much, but that's what I had in the garage, so I'm gonna go with it. You want to leave the glue for at least 24 hours. I'm not going to be able to get back to this thing for about 48 hours. So fingers crossed should have a really good hold on this. In about an hour, I'm going to go back and I'm going to clean up any of the excess glue that comes off of the joint. While we wait, I'm going to clean the pick guard and the case. 48 hours later. Moment of truth. All right. Now I'm gonna clean up the whole guitar. I'm gonna use guitar cleaner and a microfiber cloth. Now I'm gonna reattach the pick guard with some new screws. The old ones fell out at some point, so I had to go get new ones. And finally, I'm gonna put on some new strings. I'm putting some Diodario light gauge phosphor bronze strings. That should give it a nice, warm, bright, and balanced tone. So let's see how it sounds. Oh, you smell stinky. You smell stinky. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more repair videos, music videos, funny videos, product reviews, and much more from the D5 family channel.